Tuscan farmhouse. What do you think, Waldo? Tuscan farmhouse. Didn't you like that one? Yeah, yeah. I didn't change a darn thing. Billy, you could give a person a little warning. Well, you could too, sweetie. Hey, what do you, you need to remodel? Well, don't you think it's about time? I mean, the cabin was a perfect fit for Cross Creek, but things change. Oh, not as much as you think. You know, Josh has moved on with his life, and I'm... Mm -hmm. What? Maybe you better sit down. No, I'd rather stand. What's on your mind? Okay. You, uh, remember Louise Hartwell? Yeah, she's general counsel for Lewis Construction. No, was. Oh, no, she didn't die, did no. she? Oh, worse than that. She split town after she, I ran a general audit and found out that she'd been scamming the company. No, you mm. and Josh counted on her for everything. Oh, yeah, Donna, she did everything, including process your, your, your and Josh's divorce. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, man. It's a good thing she processed and filed all that stuff before she split down. She did. Didn't she, Billy? No, as a matter of fact, she didn't. She was so busy skimming the profits from the company that she didn't find anything for the last three months. What are you telling me? Well, technically, you and Josh are still married. Hey, sweetheart. You... <laughs> hey, you sure you wouldn't <laughs> rather have some champagne? Oh, oh, it's a little hard to celebrate when Josh and Cassie are almost hitched. Whoa, no, wait. There's no almost here. I mean, this big me, and that's, that's, that's a crime. Yeah. I mean, no, hey, look. Yeah, you, you, it's, a, it's a crime. You can ask any lawyer. You can even ask your lover boy. Jeffrey and I have an understanding. No commitments, no strings, no worries. It doesn't change anything. Or it changes everything once you tell Josh. I'm not going to... I can't tell Josh. He's on a religious retreat. What, am I supposed to go up there or over there or under there or wherever he is and interrupt his meditations? Oh, <laughs> you just, when he goes back all washing the lamb, then you know right what? between it's you. It's just a technicality. A, a technicality. We'll find somebody else to file the papers. And then Josh can get on with his marriage to Cassie and I can get on to remodeling my lawyer. Yeah, I mean my house. So? So, I think I've been sleeping with a married woman. First for you, huh? Question is, what are you going to do with it? Me? It's not just me. It's Josh's divorce, too. Mm, unless. Unless what? Well, unless you want to use this to make another run at him. I never questioned your motives when you took on Olivia's case. I... That was completely professional, Reba. Oh. I mean, they were about to arrest the woman in front of her little no, girl. No, 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 no. You just like looking like the hero. I know that. Meanwhile, she's trying to turn me oh, into roadkill. I, I know what this is. You're trying to pick a fight with me so you can justify going running to Josh and tell him that you're still married. That's oh, it. You think you know everything, don't you, O'Neill? Well, in this case, you couldn't be more wrong. Joshua, it's me, again, leaving the same message I've left five times already. It's important. Please call. Hi. Got a minute? Um, how did you find me here? Uh, I called the house and, um, what's her name? Uh, she told me that you were here. Oh, yeah, well, um, Harley and I were just... Yeah, yeah I know, this will only take a minute, but can we maybe go inside in case there's lightning? Harley? Um, she, uh... She's actually not here. Uh, she just stepped out for a minute to return something. Oh, early Christmas. It's a little early, isn't it? <laughs> actually, it was a wedding gift. Oh, for you? Yeah, she, uh, she got us this really beautiful tablecloth, and the napkins were the wrong ones, and oh. so, you know, you know Harley. Yeah, well, I don't blame her for charging back to the store when a job doesn't get done right the first time. Yeah, we've uh, all been there. Yeah, definitely. So, is that why you're here? Huh? Unfinished business? Uh, as a matter of fact, um... I wanted to apologize for uh, the accident. Come on, Reva, it's not like 
It's not like you threw yourself in front of Olivia's car. I know, I thought that for two minutes, yeah, but... Yeah, well, I, I wouldn't blame you. I mean, one minute you think you're married, and then the next... And vice versa. Excuse me? Just life comes at you so fast. Like Olivia's car. But it looks like you're not letting it stop you from... And give up all the great presents? Yeah, yeah. So when are you and Josh planning the sequel? Um... We're not. I mean, at least we're not rushing into throwing another ceremony or anything. We just, you know, Josh and I are married in every way that counts. And paper's just paper. Depends on the paper. So I don't want you to feel guilty about interrupting the ceremony because when Josh comes back, we'll make it legal. Sure. So how's he doing anyway up there? Over there, or around there. I mean, where is he? Reba, Michigan? If you want to know where he is, just ask me. Yeah, well, I just wanted to send him uh, an email to l let him know that I was sorry the way the Wendy, wedding It's not necessary. Ended. It's not necessary, and it's not even possible. The retreat is on Lake Covington. It's in the middle of nowhere. They have no phones, no Internet, and not even cell phones. Okay, well, that explains it. Explains why they call it that, a, a retreat, because it's so far away from the real world and its complications. Actually, I'm doing, I'm doing okay with the real world right now. Cassie? Yeah? I hope that you uh, find the napkins that matches your tablecloth, I really do. But I, I need to call. Wait a minute. Can wait, but I can't. We never lock our doors. Oh, wow! I admire your faith. Not that. There's nothing worth stealing. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I remember that. Thank you. Reverend... No collar on me. Just plain Deacon Jones. Oh, Deacon Jones. I like that. Well, um, I'll just wait here then for Josh. I'm sorry, but like I tried to oh, tell you... Oh, I know, you no that... visitors, but I thought maybe you might make an exception for his wife. His wife? Or... Oh, he didn't tell you about me. Well, no, he never mentioned... Oh, well, that sounds just like my Joshua, you know. He can bring down the walls of Jericho, but he can't remember whether or not he's wearing brown socks or blue. <laughs> my wife would say I'm the same. <laughs> what are your lay interests? Uh, I beg your pardon? Well, as a member of your husband's first church, do you have any special calling? Yes, absolutely. Such as? Such as? Uh, orphans. And soup kitchens. And the orphans I want to train to, to run the soup kitchens, put those little hands to work. <laughs> How young are these orphans we're talking about? Uh, you know, I would love to, to go over my plans with you, but I am feeling such a need and a desire to meditate and get in touch with my uh, inner spark. That's why we're here. Yeah. I'll tell Joshua you're waiting. Uh, no, don't. I, uh, I want to surprise him. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Jones. <sighs> Maybe you might want to pray for softer, better more solid mattresses. <laughs> God, it's just a little white lie. I mean, maybe there are several little white lies, but it's all for a good cause. I mean, and besides the fact that Joshua's going to do enough good deeds in his life to cancel out my debt. <sighs> Ouch. <clears throat> You know something? You may not believe this, but I did not try to stop your marriage. I didn't. But maybe it was fate. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Josh? 
Jeffrey. What the hell are you doing here? Divine intervention. 